everyone. I'd like to welcome you to another uh, one of those brand new series that CIRA International likes usually to put together. And this particular one is going to be a very special one. Here's why. Because I have two fabulous brothers in the Lord. My dear brother, Dr. Uh, David Wood and Sam Shimon, two, in my view, of the top Islamic apologists uh, that I've ever uh, dealt with or at least uh, learned from as I was myself learning how to become an apologist. And we, as uh, apologists dealing with any issue related to Islam or outreach to Muslims, as both of you might know, uh, you'll discover quickly that our Muslim friends tend to use the Bible as a form of defense sometimes. Either they use it to attack the Bible or use it to defend an idea or a thought. But most of the time, if not all of the time, they end up taking passages out of their own context. Sometimes taken out of context within the passage itself, within the chapter itself, within the book itself, but within the Bible in general. Therefore, we've decided to start a brand new series. We're going to call it Scripture Twisting 101. And for this reason, I brought these two fabulous brothers uh, to be able to develop video series, one video at a time, that will talk about one passage at a time. So every video will deal with one particular biblical passage that has been taken out of context. So, brothers, what do you say about this? Well, it's, uh, the, the reason this is important is uh, lots of Christians uh, grow up in a church. Um, um, they eventually uh, have some Muslim friends, and then their Muslim friends will start using verses to defend Islam or to attack Christian doctrines. And um, if you haven't really seriously read these, uh, these passages before, you might actually be stumped by them, right? You might, be, you might be stumped by passages like this, and so you're going to look for an answer, right? You're going, you're going to, hey, what, how can I find um, a, a response to this Muslim's claim about my book? And so you'll look it up. And so uh, we want some, uh, some sort of a fairly deep um, examinations of what these passages actually say. Uh, to make those available for Christians and also for Muslims, right? Because there are Muslims who hear um, all their lies from their imams that there's some verse that shows something. Mm -hmm. And uh, some Muslims will actually, event most unfortunately don't, but some Muslims will actually eventually look them up. What does this verse mean? And so we want uh, some close examinations of these passages available for when Muslims look them up so that hopefully they'll look at them and realize, hey, my, my, my imam has been telling me all my life that this verse proves this or that about Muhammad or that this That's verse right. shows that Christianity is false. Um, and then we want to take them through what the verse actually says, and what the verse actually means in context so they can realize, wait a minute, my imam has not been telling me the truth about what's in the Bible. Yep. And Sam, you deal with Muslims all the time. <clears throat> yes, yes, you know, yes. But tell us, why is this uh, particular series, um, you know, a passion of yours? Oh, yeah. Well, I just want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for bringing us together and fill us with the Amen. Spirit to be used to magnify His name. May the Lord Jesus be glorified in all we do. <clears throat> now, there are several reasons why this particular series is dear to my heart. First and foremost, it's a biblical commandment. If you go to 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15, Peter, under inspiration of the Holy Spirit, says, But in your heart set apart Christ as Lord. And then he says something interesting. Always be prepared, whether you like it or not, in season, out of season, always be prepared to give a defense for the hope of that's within Amen. you to whoever asks. Amen. You do so with gentleness and respect. Interestingly, because the New Testament is written in Greek, the word for defense is pros apologion. Now, does that term sound familiar, apologion? That's where we get the Apology. word apologetics, yeah. apologist. So basically, Peter, by inspiration of the Holy Spirit, is commanding Christians to do the work of an apologist. So that means you have to know the faith, be convinced of why the faith is true, and be able to articulate the truth of the faith in the power of the Holy Spirit for the glory of Jesus Christ. So that's first and foremost, it's a command. But secondly, early on, when I was first introduced to Islam in the 90s, I had a dear friend, a Bosnian friend who was a Muslim that I was witnessing to. Now when the Muslims found out that my friend was being influenced by a Christian, they wanted to meet that Christian troublemaker, meaning myself. So we had a discussion, I didn't know much about the Bible, hardly knew anything about Islam, didn't have a clue how to respond to their objections, neither could they respond to my objections. So they brought in the big guns. They brought in a Muslim apologist, and he tore me to shreds. He quoted verses from the Bible that rocked the very foundation and core of my beliefs. That night, I asked the Lord. I, basically, I made a deal with God, so to speak. I said, God, if you give me answers to these objections, 
I promise to commit myself by the power of your spirit to making sure that no other Christian gets humiliated the way this man humiliated me. And that started me on my journey. So this is very dear to my heart because I can see the damaging effects that scripture twisting can have on the faith of a young Christian who doesn't know, Amen. who's not grounded in the scriptures. Amen. And, uh, and I may add myself, I've been blessed to, uh, to know Sam uh, through Answer in Islam. And I can tell you that the Lord used Sam in a mighty way in my life exactly. because we've done a long study on the doctrine of the Trinity, for instance, and also how to defend the Word of God. And till this day, I always reflect back on the time and the devotion that this brother have dedicated to teach me and uh, what a blessing it is because I take the same teachings now and help others for the very same reason because when I was seeking sadly not all not a whole lot of Christians were able to answer my objections and uh, we do not want to be in that position we stand on solid ground solid foundation that's the word of God and we need to be able to articulate our argument from the scripture first and we want to help others who take the scripture out of context to understand that there is a problem if you do it this way and may the Lord use you of course to correct their misunderstanding and most importantly bring our Muslim uh, friends home uh, for all of eternity so that they may enjoy the same salvation uh, that was given to us for free. So this is the gist of this series and we hope that you will find it to be helpful to you as yet another tool uh, in your toolbox and uh, join us starting next video with uh, different uh, basically passages that we will tackle one at a time until we meet uh, have a blessed day thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss future videos and please consider becoming a patron on patreon.com forward slash sierra international